Russell Wilson was recently interviewed on the I Am Athlete podcast, and I love the answer that he gave when he was asked about meeting Sierra, and in particular, her son, Future. Let's check this out. I walked in the room and I saw, you know, little Future, he's nine months at the time or whatever, and he crawls in my lap and it was like, you know, this is going to be my responsibility. God, I remember, I remember leaving that night and God saying, this is, this God's, God said, saying to me, raising this child, it's, it's going to be your responsibility. Mm. And realizing, I prayed to God, are you sure this is what you want me to do? I say, son, this is for you. The first night? Yeah, the first night. Mm-hmm. I can certainly identify with that one. I met my wife for the first time. She had her eight-year-old son with her, Jose. And I remember thinking the same thing. Uh, laid eyes on her. I was like, wow, you know, and wanting to pursue a relationship, knowing that I would have to be responsible for bringing two people in my life, not just one. And I, I could certainly identify with this. And I love how he lets God kind of guide him in this. This is what we need to do as, as men of God. It's going to be your responsibility. And it's was that been... Scary? Was that scary? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think scary just in the sense of... Not scary, but it was more so an opportunity. Like, okay, God, this is what you want me to do. This is, you know, stepping in to raise, you know, a child with C and this and that. And, I, and realizing that, okay, God, like, I know she's the one for me, but also, too, I'm, I'm going to take this responsibility as well. Like, mm-hmm. okay. like. So I, I love that he says uh, it's it's an opportunity um, because I, I it, it is scary. Um, those of you who have a blended family, those of you who have married into existing uh, situations where there is already there are already children involved, whether that be your own or someone's or someone else's. In my case, it was uh, I didn't have any children, and she had the child, so it was a res- it was an opportunity. I love I love his perspective on this, and, and he's right. And I was ready for that. I was ready for that. I was ready to you know I love children as you know, I love kids and everything else. But it was like, man, to 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 help raise a child and everything else, understanding that, okay, God, you're going you're gonna to give me this opportunity. What a gift. Even Jesus himself, like Joseph was, Joseph was a, was a stepdad. I was like, okay, he, it wasn't biologically his. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, God, you're going you're gonna to have me this, give me this opportunity to love the way that you were loved, like to love the way that you want us to love. Well, wait, 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 God, that you want me to. And so then, you know, it's been uh, an amazing journey, obviously, so, raising so, four kids and... Yeah. See, I, I love that because he right away goes to scripture and says, even, even Joseph was a stepfather to Jesus. Because as we know, as we read in scripture, Mary was supernaturally impregnated by the Holy Spirit when Jesus came to this earth. And he had to accept that. He had to believe the message that the angel told him that, hey, your wife will be with child. And, and he did that. He raised Jesus. This is, it's beautiful. Y'all have four babies. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask the question later, like, y'all done, but nah, yeah. damn, bro. <laughs> you want more? Watch, go on, see how more. So, yeah, you got four babies right now. Might be done. Might be done. Um, what's the best piece of advice you can give us men out there on parenting? Not parenting, on being a father, mm. right? And, and then also being specific. You said it, you know, not much you're holding him and you're like, yo. This is God gave you that vision, like, yo, this is going to be your responsibility. So, like, is there a difference from, you know, you know, how you approach being a father, stepfather? You understand? No, no, no. I, I think that when you raise, when you're raising children, right, and you're married and everything else and loving, it's like, you got to love every single child as if they're yours. Yes. Come right? on. Like, that's been the greatest gift of, of, of. Of raising future and Sienna and Win and, and now Mora, you know, two months. It's like, man, God gave me that opportunity to raise them and to love them and to 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 care for them and teach them and to love them as every day, you know, that way. And there's no difference. There's no mm. no difference in the children. Yeah, I think to me, it's the greatest gift and knowing that that's the responsibility to raise these four beautiful children all together mm. in this. Yes. And, and we all come from blended families. A lot of times, we all come from different this and that. But it's it's to be able to be one. And that's been the best part um, of raising these kids with C. Now, I remember growing up in a blended family. And when I was old enough to realize what was happening, my dad had met my mom at a laundry mat and she already had five kids, one boy and four girls. And so later came my older brother, myself and my sister. And I remember growing up and they were a lot older than I was uh, 
and but but never thinking that or feeling that uh that we were any different that we were uh from a different father or a different mother or a half or step or whatever it was always it was always just that's my sister that's my brother we're a family here i never felt indifferent about it because my dad loved us all the same and and i i love that i love that because when i met my wife uh it was it was the same thing she came in uh, to our church for the first time and brought her son jose and i remember wow you know what a beautiful girl later pursuing her and realizing that this this boy um who's already eight years old will be my responsibility if i pursue this relationship and even later marriage and I did see that as an opportunity. I did see that as, hey, that's, that's, a, that's a, that's a big responsibility, right? But with God's help, I, I, I did that. I committed to it. I'm so proud of the, the, the man he is today. He's already 19. And I think about, um, uh, with Jesus and, 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 and God, how he adopts us into his family, right? We become his children and he sees us all the same. And so I love how Russell Wilson talks about uh, how he took responsibility for future. They later had other kids and it was a blended family. And, and there's no difference on how he treats any of them. They are all family. And this is what the beauty is of the kingdom of God. When we are adopted into the family of God, we're all family. It's it's why you can meet somebody who is a Christian, right, in, in the grocery store line or at the bank or wherever it might be, and instantly you feel connected. You could say, oh, you're a believer. Oh, I'm a believer too. Oh, you believe in Jesus? Oh, and right away you have that commonality. You have that family bond because it's what happens uh, in the body of Christ. We're adopted. We're siblings. We're in the same kingdom. We're going to the same place when when we die we all have the same mission right and that's to spread the gospel of jesus christ so i really appreciate what russell says here how he shares his faith and what he has to say about a blended family and adopting future and then later having their children together and it being one big beautiful family hey let me know what you think have you been or are you a part of a blended family how did that go for you i'd love to hear your comments and and read them below i'll see you on the next one